a lot of hard work, patience, failures, and then successes have taken place for me to get to the point to where I am. It definitely hasn't happened overnight. To a lot of people, it seems like I've come out of nowhere. But the people who are really close to me, they've known I've always had this in me. Everyone's got a different path. Mine's a little different, but I know it could work out. Down down three. One, two, three. Bam. The phrase, out of nowhere, seems out of place, coming from one of the top prospects in the 2017 NFL Draft. Cut. Mitchell Trubisky has spent the majority of his life playing football, but he is best known for all the time he didn't play at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I've just been telling people I've played a lot of ball. I've seen a lot. I've only started 13 games, but I played in 30. I've had a lot of passing attempts, similar to uh, Carson Wentz, Alex Smith, and then Cam Newton. A perfect rainbow throw from Mitch Trubisky. So I've seen a lot of ball, and I'm a student of the game. The 13 starts was out of my control. I did what I could do, and I took advantage of the opportunities I was given. Well, it looks like he's been doing that all his life. He busted his butt, competed, did everything that we asked him to do. It was me and making a decision on what was best for our football team at that time. Trubisky redshirted his freshman year and was the backup in 2014 and 2015. But this past year, everything changed for the six foot two Tar Heels quarterback. I think that three years most definitely humbled him and he didn't take a snap this year for granted. We expected him to be great. The beauty of it all is I was able to see the struggles and to see the tears and to see a guy who continued to push through all the adversity that he pushed through. He's always been a hard worker, but when you're not chosen to lead the team, what's your other alternative? You sit down and you don't do anything. You gotta keep working and, and try to get better. I think his work ethic is just that. He goes, I gotta prove myself. I gotta do better. I gotta be better. Mitchell's resilience can be traced to a lesson he learned from his parents when he was seven and almost quit football. Playing youth football, in the first couple of practices, I mean, I'm going against older guys, like nine and 10, like I'm the youngest on our team, and I'm getting smashed. Like I'm playing running back, wing back. Like I go home the first week, I'm like, mom, dad, I'm not sure if I want to do this. Like, is this, like, I'm getting killed out there. We said, we know you're, you know, you're getting hit a lot and it's, you know, we know you don't like it, but we've always said, you start something, you, you're going to finish it. We don't want you to quit at anything. I didn't have a choice. They're like, you're going to stick with it. <laughs> you're going to play. And they saw something in me before I even saw something in myself. The 22 year old signal caller may have flown under the radar at Chapel Hill. But in Menor, Ohio, a football mad town 25 miles northeast of Cleveland, Trubisky became a household name. Trubisky, touchdown Cardinals! It's on this field that Mitchell attracted the attention of programs like Ohio State and Alabama, was named Mr. Football in Ohio, and eventually earned his scholarship to North Carolina. The hype was that we were getting a baller for him to be named Mr. Ohio and have all the accolades coming out of high school. Um, you know, he had all the offers, could have gone where he wanted, and he chose to come to Carolina. And all of us were excited to have a guy his caliber, you know, you know come with us and commit. Although he sat much of his first three seasons at UNC, Trubisky's commitment to the Tar Heels paid off last season. Trubisky steps up in the pocket, loops it downfield. Touchdown, North Carolina! when he became the starting QB, throwing 30 touchdowns and ranking fifth in the country in completion percentage. To me, it's just loyalty. I couldn't leave those guys no matter what. Even if I wasn't given my opportunity, I had to be there for them, and I knew I'd get my chance eventually. Quit, quit, quit. Quitting has never been an option for Mitchell. He's been calling plays since he was a kid. He knows he's more than just the quarterback that came out of nowhere. And on April 27th, when the commissioner calls his name, Trubisky hopes to become the face of an NFL team, determined to stay steady and drama free. I really don't have any crazy, crazy story that, that comes along with my history. I mean, my parents did a great job of raising me and I know who I am. I'm not gonna be a problem and I'm not gonna embarrass the team, the organization or my family. Put it down. Yeah. How do you think his personality prepares him for what's to come? 
I think he's a little flat sometimes. The quarterback coach always said that it's good in a quarterback. It keeps him cool, calm, and it's easier for a quarterback to go through his progressions if he's calm and doesn't panic. So I think in his benefit, it helps him. Good shot. I feel like this is what I was born to do. I really do. I'm not going to change. I'm going to stay true to the game, continue to work hard, and all that other stuff is bonus. I'm not in it for the fame, the money, any for that. I, I love the game, and I'm just trying to make my family proud. That's it.